We are live. Whether you are live or on the replay, thank you for being here. We are going to flip through the brand new Wind and Waves unit from Science for Little Hearts and Hands line from the Good and the Beautiful. We're going to hop in through the parent guide and then we'll go through the big book of science stories. So this is the second unit in the Science for Little Hearts and Hands um, preschool to second grade geared courses for science and I'm quite excited about it. We are really enjoying the field and flowers unit. So here we have activity supplies. As you're going through this list, if there's something that you don't have, check out the lesson and see if it's something that you really want to do with your kiddos or something they'll even be interested in before you purchase things that you don't have. You're so welcome for doing these videos. Oh, I wish I knew how to pronounce your name. If you want to type it out for me, I would love it. Okay, so this is going to cover things like meteorology and different weather forecasting and temperature, all kinds of different things, which is a great jumping off point for the water, what is it, water and weather? unit, I believe. There used to, used to be a meteorology unit and then a water in our world unit that they have combined into, I believe, a water and weather unit. And so this is a great jumping off point for the little ones before getting into that rotation if you want. Tornadoes and hurricanes. And I have my older kiddos really enjoy these lessons too. They don't mind them. They're short and sweet. And they, and this one has more, let's see, experiment time, optional activity. The previous unit, you would either do a story or a video, depend, alternating on the lesson. So this one, we have a story that you'll get in the book. And then the next lesson, we have an audio narration. And then we have, which maybe these bells are related to that. And we have story time. There's optional activities in each one. Let's see, is that? Yeah, back to back story time. Okay, so we're getting into salt water and fresh water here. Oh, marine biologist. So this is also a jumping off point for marine biology, which is great. And this one, instead of the story or the um, audio narration, you get an activity specifically for this lesson. And then story time. So did I say Field and Flowers is either story or video? So this one's a little bit different in that. If we haven't met yet, hi there. I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. This is so fun. Now my, we started out with meteorology and then water in our world. So I don't know that my kiddos would be interested in the first part of this unit, but they might be interested in this under the sea stuff before we get into marine biology. So I will need to show this to them when we are finish up our other, our field and flowers unit. Okay, hold on. So we've got open things here and pieces here, intentionally left blank so that we could cut out the pieces. So are we, let's see, scissors, small basket or bowl glue. It looks like this is a group activity. As the child finds where the animals go, complete the discussion questions below. So depending on how many children you're teaching at this age level and how they um, want to interact with this activity, whether they want to share or not, you can maybe take a copy of them and give them each 
their own sheet or you can just cut them out, let them do it together or take turns doing it and then kind of baggy it and clip it to your page for future use. I would just like chop it down here and do that. Um, personally, I probably would take a copy and let it go that way. But oh, and then here we have audio narration ponds. So we are going to be moving through those bells and these are popping out ready to go. But we have lesson four, lesson five, lesson 14, and lesson 10. So these will need to be stored somewhere after they are popped out. That's and then they're all put together. But maybe we could like take it apart and put it in a baggie. That's interesting. That's different. Okay. Cookies Arad, that's how you pronounce it with the Spanish sounds. Ah, Cookies Arad, okay. Nice, thank you for explaining that to me, I appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna look, while we're here though, before we jump in, I do have the other unit here and I'm noticing a difference in not just the, as I said before, this unit had story time and then movie time. Um, you can see we're on lesson eight here. So it was just, so far it's been alternating one lesson to story, the next is movie, back and forth, back and forth. So there is that change. Um, there They have had the optional activities, but the difference also is the binding. These were that spiral binding. And this one is that new lay flat binding. I'm not sure exactly what they call it, but it seems like they are starting to print more things with this binding. So I haven't seen any of like the newer science units with that yet. The ones that come with the student journals, they're all still spiral bound. Um, and this one is spiral bound, but this one is that new binding. And then the new, um, most of the language arts love courses are spiral bound. Well, not spiral bound, but this coil binding. Um, but the new level three that just came out came in this binding. So maybe they're moving to this binding and away from this coil binding, which I'm not sure how I feel about yet, but I have a video coming up tonight related to the binding in general. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Now this is literally just a big book of stories and they're so cute. They teach a lot of what is going on in the lesson, but through the experience of a child, which I think is just amazing. I love that they have it laid out like that. It makes the learning fun. Like I have a my youngest who is in the age range for this unit. Um, sometimes does not want to pay attention to the lesson, but when we pull out the story or pull out the video, they're paying attention. And so I'm glad that the lessons do have like there is some instruction in there. There is some dialogue that you go. Um, with the children, but it's really not a lot. Most of the learning does come from the story and the video in Field and Flowers. So in this case, the audio narration, the activity and the story, which I think is perfect for this age and any age really, which was why my older kiddos don't mind working through this unit, this, this line of units, because they enjoy the stories, they enjoy the videos. I would assume they're gonna enjoy the activities and the audio narrations, especially for these um, C-related ones. So there's a look at the stories and that is about it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'm always happy to answer any questions that there might be. If you want to check out this unit, I have linked the video for that down in the description box for you. And I'm going to hop off and then hop back on to flip through this Kindergarten Books Pet Pals box. So as soon as I get that set up, we'll hop back on and take a look at that. I hope you are having a great day and I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye.